Hello guys, Shockwave came back here once again. And yes, she's the title of the day. At least I titled the video. Yes, this could be a, the most surprising video title. I probably ever came up with. And this is uh, the tragedy of one the head to the Monster Association for Ugly. And some might say, why would you feel bad for this character? Why would you feel any type of sense or pity for a man who literally is just a horrible piece of shit even being? And honestly, to a certain degree, I can't tell you 100% reason why. But, uh, what it comes down to is, Fur Ugly never did ask to be born hideous or monstrous at all over in his life. He didn't choose the hands he chose to play with at all. So him becoming a ugly mind is no different from a mind's mass becoming ugly. The only difference is, because of Fur Ugly, was so hideous to people and since he had such low self-esteem and such an inferiority complex instead of trying to be a good person it turned him into a shitty human being and I'm not saying that fear ugly is not responsible for his own actions he 100% is but if you look at him it is quite sad to see what he pretty much became partially involuntarily in at least 90% of his own doing. I, I do find it still quite sad for the poor fellow. And I'm going to fact that as the story go on, right, as the Monster Association arc continues, it's like, how you notice this man just got, have continuously gotten uglier and uglier? And it's not even on purpose. Like, he didn't get, he didn't ask to get eaten by gums. Gums just shows to ate him. Now he's just a vomit monster. At least before he looked human. A tubby, ugly fat kid, or fat man, pretty much. But now he's even worse. He's even more hideous. He's even more monstrous than he was before. And it's just, it's just like this man can't catch a break. And shout out, I don't support for ugly in his accents. I don't support him. Uh, I don't support him claiming that. Let, let's see Tatsumaki's panties or anything else like that. But it, it, is, it is quite sad to see. What if, let's be honest, if things are different, if things are different, I mean, Fear Ugly have a different mindset about his entire situation. Could he end up like a Myers mask? Could he end up like somebody different? If he was given a different chance, a different path, could Fear Ugly be a, de a decent person? If, if, if he was just born with a person, but then again, if you're rotten to the core, then he, he was also going to be a shitty human being. Just for that. Being ugly just made it worse. So it's just. I'm not saying that you should say that Fur Ugly is a good guy or you should support him or he should become your fan favorite character because you know he's just the best thing in the world but I can't help but to feel bad for the guy and especially how like his condition just keep getting worse like he was he was he was bad looking before I think it's hard for any artist to make a character truly look ugly when you're a good artist so even you try to cut a character ugly he still looks good so it's just like but in well like you saw like a real life for ugly that would be like a different ordeal entirely like, like at least he was still human right he wasn't a good person but he was still human but now he, he's he's just hideous he's a look like for ugly if the monster association was ever to win for ugly is the only one who could never have a normal life the only one some might say if gums are alive he wouldn't be able to have a normal life gums is not really too much of a, a human being but Black Spray, they could just say he's, he, he's just dressed up in a suit. Homeless Emperor is just a homeless man. That's it. Uh, Psychos is Psychos, of course. And Orochi. I still want to know Orochi's backstory. Because we don't really know anything about him besides that Psy Orochi, uh, that, that, that Psychos find him and that was it. But everybody else you can argue could have had a normal life. Could have had it. Prefer Ugly, Vomit Man. At least you could say that gums and overgrown rubber can be some type of... That you can go to like a... Like a <laughs> you can go to like a... Uh, an eating contest. Or overgrown rubber can go to a dog thing. But for Fur Ugly, there's... there's it's at a point where there's no return. It's just like... There's like... There's no fixing them. There's no changing them from what he were. There's there's no nothing. He's just, and I can't personally help but to feel bad for the poor guy. Because it's just like... So he didn't put himself in that situation. But... And it, it, maybe it's tragic... Maybe it's pity. Maybe I, I can't really explain it. I, 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 I don't know what it is. I was just thinking. About, I just I'm talking about this for like a while. How sad for ugly's condition is, and how it just keeps you know. It's like he can never catch a break. It was nothing. He's ugly. 
It's enough that he's a bad guy. It's enough that no one really actually likes him and just tolerates his existence. And now it just got even worse. Because now Golden Spurn's beating up on him. Holland's Emperor is lighting him up. And he's just like, oh, we can just treat him as a slave. Wait, what? So he went from being on your level to just being beneath you? And it just... Mm. It, it's sad. It, it, really, it really is, in my opinion. It, it really is sad for Ugly. I'm not going to say like he's my favorite executive, no, but it's just, eh. Just seeing what he was to what he is now, it, it is quite sad, because if you didn't know, spoilers, leave now, the video is over. Frog Ugly is going to get killed by Silver Fang anyway, or a combination of him and Garo. So it's, just, it's not like he's going to live after this arc and live a normal life and ride it up to the sunset. And it's sad, because he spent his entire life full of hate. He, full, he spent his entire life blaming somebody else for his problem. And he died the way he lived. An angry nobody that no one re remember. And I just can't help but find that for Ugly's entire life is tragic. It really is. It's a tragic story, in my opinion. Maybe it's a delusional fantasy. Maybe it's something that's just made up. Maybe I might have a point. I don't know you guys' thoughts and opinions about Fur Ugly, because in my opinion, I do find his life to be sad. And the way he had lived, no one's going to remember him anyway. So. Or, arguably, no one really cared for Fur Ugly either, so. It is a quite tragic life he, he led, but I'm not gonna act like he didn't play a role in his downfall, but it's not like. Like, it's one thing he was able to ugly, he could have got beat up. Or, like, in a webcomic, he would have transformed or something. No, he just. Gums just eat him for no reason. And then he turns into vomit for ugly, and then he can't even do any of his major attacks without losing the consistency of himself, and he absorb up the protein, and then he, he, he turns on black sperm for no reason, just being selfish, and then he turns into golden sperm and just light him up like a Christmas tree. And then after that, f homeless emperor is like, hey, I want to get on his, on his action, let's beat him up some more. And, and, he, and he scurries off and it's just like, oh, I'll be back. Oh, you, th you think you're going to live past this day? No, 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 no. Black, golden sperm, don't do it. We can keep him as a pet. We can keep him as a pet. And then he'll one day crawl back to us. And it's tragic. But it is what it is. I don't know you got your thoughts. And I don't you know you guys' thoughts. It depends with the whole, how do you feel about Fred? I, I do find him to be a, a, a tragic character, in my opinion. But that could just be me. Because uh, it's a tragic life he's had to live. And it's not all of his fault. But he played a role in his own demise. So, let me show you got thoughts and opinions. What are your opinions about Frugly? Do you, do you find him to be a tragic character? Is he one of your favorite monster executives? Or is it just you don't have any pity and he gets what he deserves? Or is this you don't really feel nothing from him? Let me show you got thoughts and opinions. And, uh, peace.